Hey everybody, welcome back to 10 Stinger Time. I'm 10, of course. And today I'm going to be showing you some things that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, actually, um, and a few Christmas presents that I forgot to unbox in the last video that I did. So what I'm going to be doing is actually um, making my own cover minders. So I will go ahead and I'll show you what I got. So um, for the cover minders, obviously you'll need magnets. I bought two different types of magnets. So these are, I don't even know how to say this, neodymium. These are really strong. So these are a stronger magnet. They're not um, adhesive or anything like that. So they're just the magnets. And this came with 12 pieces in here. It's marked as $6. With Hobby Lobby, there's always 40% coupon. If they're not on sale, but I believe all of this craft stuff was 40 or 50% off already. So I got those kinds of magnets. And then I got these ones, which are an adhesive magnet. They're not as strong as the other ones. Um, I did open them already just to kind of check that out. This came with 24 pieces and they are adhesive on one side. So one side is adhesive, one is not. So of course we're going to be using the magnets. And then what I did for like the little trinkets and things there's so many cute ones on Etsy, so if you don't want to make your own, definitely go check out Etsy. You'll pay, depending on, you know, the ones that you find, you can find them for a, a dollar all the way up to like $12, probably more, depending on the size, the style, that kind of thing. Um, but I just found buttons. So a lot of them that I saw, I'm like, those look like buttons. <laughs> So I found um, some buttons. So we got flowers, and what I'm—I'll show you what I'm gonna do. And these are super cute. Some little ice cream cones, and I saw some on Etsy that looked just like this. So I'm not sure if this is what they used or if they made, you know, their own like clay or something. But there's those ones. These ones are also a button, the little cactus and the llama. I thought these were super cute. And these were 40% off, so, but you can see the prices. Like these were $5, these were three, these were $2.30. But at 40, I believe they were 40 or 50% off already. Um, so those were what I found in the button section. Then we um, went to the actual jewelry section where they have like little trinkets and stuff and I found these super cool they had so many um, but these fairy tale ones it's Alice in Wonderland and then this says Alice's adventures in Wonderland and this one says through the looking glass but I thought how cute are these and they're already you know decently heavy on their own so there is those ones. And then, oh, this one. This one is also like Alice in Wonderland. I'll try to put my thumb so you can see. But it has a Cheshire Cat face. And my thought was, if I can take this cork out, then I'll put actual, like, leftover diamonds in here and put the magnet on it. Wouldn't that be cute? Or you can put, you know, something else in there, like little like little candies or if you do resin you could do some resin make it look like a potion or something super cute I thought this one was really cute there's that one and they had lots they had a whole section of these fairy tale type they had Alice in Wonderland and all the princess ones um, some really cool things and then I found these um, my husband actually saw these hanging on like a little end cap of all discounted stuff. So this one was 69 cents for this little piece, this little rhinestone cactus. It's super sparkly. And that is a, this is a metal piece as well. So of course these are plastic, metal. This is, I'm assuming 
might be glass or plastic. And these are metal. And then I found this other little cactus. I don't like cactus at all. You can't tell. <laughs> I love my plants and the cactus. The, the only thing with this one, um, it was, it is flexible because it's like beaded. So I'm not sure how well that one will withstand. I may have to try and seal it with something. But for 59 cents, I mean, can't hurt to give it a try. So those were the ones at Hobby Lobby. And then we did, um, I was at Walmart. And for my niece, um, she is doing diamond painting as well. And I saw these, the princess, um, these are buttons as well. And I believe these were a few dollars, like three dollars, three or four dollars. So, yeah. Hobby Lobby had some better, but I thought these were really cute because they actually had the princesses on them. And they're a little bit bigger. Of course, she's younger, so it would be easier for her to use. Um, so that's all the little trinkets that I got. And what I'm going to use, this one, since these do have an adhesive, this is trial and error. I've never done this before, um, so I'm just giving it a shot. I kept looking at them and I'm like, you know, I can get magnets and all the things and make them myself and not have to do the shipping or pay for shipping. Um, if you don't want to make your own or you don't have access to the hobby, you know, a Hobby Lobby or anywhere like that, I'm not sure. Like you can probably order magnets online, Amazon or something, but definitely check out on Etsy um, and support, you know, small businesses that are trying to you know, do something for you. So we'll check out these magnets. Let me see. I had a hard time getting them out. Yeah, these are really strong. So if I pull out one, I should be able to, yeah. <laughs> you can see I pulled out one and then it gets stuck to the other ones. So there's these mag. I mean, these are super strong. They may be a little too hard to, to get apart. But my thought is, let's go ahead, let's do one of these first. I'm going to open one of these up. And I, I do have my E6000 glue. Um... Even though they have adhesive on them, these other ones do, I don't think it could hurt, especially if you're going to be using it a lot, to put some adhesive still on it. See, that'll fit perfect. So we'll put that there. So that'll fit. So I think we'll, because this one, so you can see, I mean, these ones are magnets. It'd be fine for your fridge or you know, something like that, but they're not nearly as strong as these. But this one, the super strong, sticks very well to the other ones. So I figured if we combine and use one of these and one of these, then it'll work out perfect. And you'll have the little one underneath and you can stick this one here, or you can glue this one on to something, you know, if it's something a little bit smaller. I think this magnet will fit on most of these. So let's go ahead. Now this, um, the E6000 glue, it does need time to set and dry. Okay, so this glue does take, um, it says to allow at least 24 hours, so overnight, um, but, you know, a little bit longer than that wouldn't hurt for you to let it sit and just leave it alone. So we've got the sticky side here. I am going to put just a touch, I mean, not a lot, just a little bit of glue on it just to make sure that it stays set. Oh. And really, 
since we're only gluing the one side, you don't really even need this magnet unless you're gluing it. And, you know, do this however you want. Just use the strong magnets. I mean, it's up to you. Most use will the same. But I got the two different kinds just to try it out and see what would work best for me. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these magnets on my items. I hope everybody is having a good day, good week, good month, good start to the year. Yes, Happy New Year. It's a little after the new year now, but still a new year. Hopefully everybody is off to a good start. Things are pretty much the way they were before the new year here in my neck of the woods, but it's to be expected. Yeah, so I'm just going to glue them. Make sure I get a good good setting on there. All right, I'm just gonna glue the um, glue these guys and um, let them sit, let them dry really well, and then I will come back and maybe um do a quick uh, work in progress update. So I'll show you right before I do that. Some of them, so because these are like basically for jewelry, they have like the little hooks or like this one has a little ring on it. I am going to, most of them we can just bend, but I may go borrow some pliers. I'm going to take at least the ring off, but these little hooks I can't do a whole lot about but I think it looks fine it doesn't bother me and they're just for me I'm not selling them or anything like that so um, just so you guys can see that and then for the buttons I'll go ahead and open them so you can see of course with buttons they will have um, you know a button loop hole on the back and these ones just seem to be a little bit of glue on them. Um, so I'm also going to use some pliers and just cut, just cut that or pull them off if I can. Like I said, this is trial and error for me. I've never made any of them before. I've never done um, anything like that. So. I'll show you what I end up doing with those, but more than likely I just get some like wire um, cutters or like some floral cutters and use those to cut the little holes off for where the buttons go. Yeah, same with these. Now the metal ones, I won't be able to do that with. So these metal ones also have Machine washable and dry cleanable. So if you want to use them for actual clothes, you can. So let's see. Okay, yeah. So this one, um, as you can see, it has a buttonhole as well on the back, and the magnet is shorter than it. So I will have to figure out something with that to eliminate that metal piece on the back. I don't think we'll be able to cut it. But if I use these double, if I use two of these, then it should be fine. If I use two of the little ones, not the stick ones, these neodymium, neo, yeah, 
neodymium. If I use two of those, then that wouldn't be strong enough to hold it. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you. I will, I'm gonna work on these and I will update you um, with what I end up doing um, because I like the little humps. See if I can get those off. And of course, I'll show you what I end up doing with that one and taking little hooks in this off. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'll come back when these are, I've made them and they've set and dried and everything. See you in a bit. Hey everybody, uh, we're back. So. Um, I have let these sit overnight and I'll show you a few of them and what I did. Um, so we'll start with the flowers. So the flowers have, again, they're buttons. So they have like the little loop that you would use, you know, to use it as an actual button. Um, what I did is I just had some like wire clipper and it worked pretty well. I, I cut off what I could of this. So this is the one I made. And again, I used one regular magnet. So one regular magnet and one of the stronger magnets on each of these. And I got more use out of them that way. And there's plenty strong enough to hold through the plastic, double layer plastic and a layer with diamonds on it. Um, so you can see, I didn't get an exactly clean cut on the bottom. You could have sanded it or something if you wanted to, but I used that E6000 glue, just a little bit of glue, stuck it on there, um, and it's on. It's held really tight, so it's not an exact flush with the flower, but it was good enough. It does hold. I did test it, tried to pull it off, and it works just fine. So that's what I did with that one. I did the same thing with these. So this is the metal one and this one I didn't have as much space so I did glue the metal magnet on to this one and as you can see right next to it had the little spot where the button was and I did the same thing with those wire cutters and I just cut it it took a little bit um, and then sand down the because the edges are a little rough but the magnet is tall enough to where it, that does not rub on the painting or anything. So if you're worried about that. And again, one of each. So that's really all I did. I cut those off. Now this one has like a, these ones had like a little loop at the top that you could use to attach an earring or necklace or what have you. I left that on there. I didn't really see the reason in trying to cut it off and make it like a rough edge on the front and I think the loop looks fine. So I left those the way they were. I did the same thing for these other ones. So this one, um, it actually got covered and I had plenty of buttons left over. Um, but I did use all of the magnets, the little ones. So as you can see, the little hoop is right here in the front. So I cut off what I could and actually um, made this part come off and then you could cut it really well. I used a little bit of glue to hold this part to the back part. And then I covered this with the actual magnet that I put on the back. So pretty simple, just cut off what you can and then glued the magnets on. You know, same with this. This one was not a button, it was like a charm. So I did leave the little loop at the top but it had like another like little metal hoop. I did take that part off, but I left the loop on there. This one was just a little glass jar. And what I did is I actually had some leftover diamonds, a few different colors of purple since it's a Cheshire cat. And I just mixed them. Those are what I had left over. And I filled up the little jar isn't it so cute? I love this one. And I did glue the little cork in just so it doesn't fall out onto my diamond painting while I'm working on it or something. So just a little bit of clear glue to glue the cork in. 
and I did the same thing just glue the magnets but I did fill him up with like little diamonds um, so that was pretty much it you can see the ones I have them pretty separated because um, they're a little crazy when you they're so strong that they all want to like stick together <laughs> I mean you can see how strong they are And having one of each works perfectly fine. Um, I did go ahead and test them on my current work in progress and made sure like it held and it held through the part that I already had diamonds on. So that worked out just fine. Um, I double layered the plastic and used it on that and it worked just fine. So they are plenty strong enough to hold um, through your painting, even if you've already got diamonds on it. So that was it, um, you know, be creative, have your own ideas. Um, again, they, you can buy pre-made on Etsy. I have plenty of more buttons if I wanted to get more magnets and make the rest of those, which I will do in the future, I'm sure. I'll probably start collecting <laughs> or making my own. These are just for myself. Um, I might give a couple of the prints, see how crazy they are. They're so, those little ones are so strong. Um, but I might give a couple of the mermaid, the mermaid and, uh, the bell to my niece who has gotten into the diamond painting for her own. So I hope you guys like the video and give it a thumbs up. If you do, let me know below if you liked it, if it was helpful, um, gave you some inspiration and I will see you all next time. Bye.